We are at the Dikanivska Penal Colony in Kharkiv. Serhii Litvinov is one of the political prisoners and is serving a sentence of eight and a half years. What are you doing here? I have no idea what I'm doing here. I came from the colony in Russian Magadan in Siberia. This was Russia's verdict. They told me they arranged this with Ukraine. As if Ukraine agreed that I spend the rest of the sentence in a penal colony. When did you return to Ukraine? March 9th. So you were transferred as a prisoner? Yes. And now you are sitting out your term here? Yes, eight years and six months. The very same term? Yes, the same Russian sentence which was not superseded by the fatherland. The charge remains the same. Robbery? Yes, robbery. In 2014 you were captured from a hospital in rostov on don What were you doing there? Obsessed, throat congelation, the contamination had spread to the jaw. You were just taken from a hospital? A man from Russian security service FSB just came. How do you know he was from FSB? He showed some ID, he said, let's go for a chat. I told him I was a Ukrainian citizen with no interest in politics. I said I came here as a peaceful citizen of my country. And how did you end up in Rostov? Stanitsa Luhanska was occupied. Well, you know who. There were some Cossacks, militias. So I turned to Russia. Ukrainian border guards let me pass near Rostov. They said if Russians let you pass, go ahead. If not, come back. Russian border police didn't object. Those people took you from the hospital and charged you with participation in the Dnipro 1 battalion. You were accused of killing civilians? Yes, as if I was a punisher from Kolomoisky's Dnipro battalion. I never even knew any battalions, let alone be a member. I never bore firearms, I never did harm to any Ukrainians. I love my country. The war brought me suffering. Nonetheless, that's what you were accused of. Yes, Russia did. I got 25 years. Initially, they wanted a life sentence. According to wartime laws, they could have shot me. That's what investigator Milunov said. It was in Moscow's Basmalny district court. And you said you were beaten and tortured. I was. What was it and where did it happen? It was the Nesk militiamen. Those inhumans took me, put a bag over my head, hit me with a rifle in the neck, after which I don't remember. I got some injection in the neck. I still have a scar. It's all documented. Then the torture started. I was hung from a poplar by the legs and arms. They dug a deep hole beneath me, splashed me with cold water and fed electric current. This causes a human to rise up to 20 meters. But my body was stood because I was sporty. I lost consciousness in the forest. They proceeded to splash me with water so that I wake up and sign some papers, some criminal case. But those people in the proceedings never existed. There aren't such names and they never lived on this territory. But you were indicted for those crimes, and then the accusation was changed. A lawyer from Moscow came called Viktor Parshutkin. He told me they tried me under Article 162, Part 3. They were planning to bring some guy who would identify me. So you were then charged with theft of two cars instead of murders of civilians. The story went, allegedly I stole two U.S. cars, as if I summoned militaries who beat the driver with a rifle. Supposedly this happened in Kolesnikivka, in Luhansk region. Do you know the man who accused you of car theft? I don't know him. Never seen him before. So you never stole any cars? No, never. The charge was made up. I never pleaded guilty. I was initially sent to the Batysk Rostov colony number 15, where I was up until 2017. Then some documents came and I was sent to Magadan colony number 4. It was a high security colony. And then you asked to serve a sentence here in Ukraine. 
I had no choice, so I agreed. Well, actually, I didn't ask to serve the sentence. I asked Ukrainian president to take me to Ukraine and free. But this never happened? No, I was sent to Kharkiv's colony number 12. I asked civilians for help. Those who send me letters from Poland, Germany, Kiev. Kids wrote to me and even Minister Klimkin. They told me I was a hero of Ukraine. You are deemed a political prisoner here. Ukrainian political prisoner? As if Ukraine agreed everything with Russia. I'm sorry, this is all crap. Ukraine could not have agreed with Russia that I should be serving a sentence. I've done my time in Russia. Nonetheless, the Bilovoski court in the Luhansk region confirmed that you are guilty. That's what the prosecutor said. I never saw him. Does anybody know that you are here now, the foreign minister Pavlo Klimkin, for instance? No, no one knows. Did you try to contact somebody? No, I don't have any envelopes or paper. And you have... Three and a half years remaining of my term. But now you have written a request. I asked them to recalculate my term, according to the Savchenko law. And I asked President Zelensky for amnesty. When did you send this letter? My lawyer came on Friday and we composed this letter together. It has been considered already. Kharkiv prosecutor also is considering it and has agreed to release me from here. It's all settled. That's what the lawyer said? Yeah, he said it shouldn't take long for me to be released. I take it you're not getting any packages from your family because they have no money? Yes, they have it hard. What kind of help do you need? Support. I want my family to be able to visit. Do you not find that you were treated unjustly here? It's not their fault. I was transferred, now I am serving my term. What they did to me in Kiev? It's not good. I asked them to free me from jail. I asked those authorities who sent me here in the first place. You need to know and understand this. Thank you.